Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to wrap up uh, round two. Drax and uh, Killmonger are in the arena. Sorry I'm getting this guys uh, to you late, but we were having all kind of excitement. Uh, if you are on my live stream, you know about the tenant situation and all of that. Um, but anyway, uh, this is what I've done so far in this arena. Anyway. Uh, but we're going to take a look over here. Um, I got the 11 to 30 percent. And let's start with Killmonger. And this is the last arena that has the 100 cutoffs. The next arena is going to be top 400, get the six star. I have no idea what the cutoffs are going to look like. It'll be interesting. OK, so anyway, let's take a look. And I got something to tell you guys. I don't believe this. So uh, during the live stream, I was telling you how um, I was breathing a sigh of relief and everything because he went out uh, last night and all of that. No, it's not resolved yet. Uh, Culty, congratulations, man. So I want you, uh, just so you can understand some of what I got to deal with. Let me, let me, I'm going to read you this message that my mom sent me okay now keep in mind i'm uh you know we just finished up the stream or whatever and i'm trying to uh do something else and i get this message here's the message okay i just talked with skip he's coming but spoke to me to ask if he could come in the morning said he'd pay which, of course, no. He is in Brazelton and would not make it under two hours, but would be near in the morning. I need to know if overnight would be okay. Do you guys understand that message? Because that's all I got. And then, my dear mom, who I love, came downstairs with the phone, with Skip on the phone. And I'm like, one, who's Skip? Two, why is he coming? What is he talking about paying? Is this a new renter that just needs a, a place for the night? What, what, what are you talking about? What's going on? Okay. Keep in mind that I'm thinking that our other tenant is gone. Okay. But he's not. So here's what happened. So last night, you know, I told you he had all his things packed up and everything, and he was waiting outside for his sister to come pick him up, get his things, and go. I thought that happened. It did not. Her car broke down. Now, I'm not going to say anything about the timing of this. Um, I don't think she wants to help him, personally. And I think he made that up to kind of cover the fact that his own sister does not want to help him. All right. But anyway, so her car breaks down. So he's got no way to go anywhere. He, he The only thing that he would do is sit outside in the, um, you know, in the driveway or, or at a bus stop or something. And of course, he knows we're not going to make him do that. Right. So Skip. Hey, Grimlock, I see you. Uh, Skip is his friend. So. He's coming, he, he's too far out to make it tonight. So he was calling to see if it would be okay for him to come in the morning. And he is willing to pay any storage fee or anything like that. And the reason that my mom said, of course, no, is because we are Seventh-day Adventists and tomorrow starting tonight at sunset, going until tomorrow's sunset is our Sabbath. That is the biblical Sabbath. That is the day that we worship. We do not do any business transactions on that day, if we can at all help it. You know, um, yes, you have emergencies that come up and, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. But in this case, we don't have to accept his money or, or do anything like that. So, uh, what I told him was, it's fine for him to come and, and you know, pick up the uh, clothes and everything. Now, keep in mind, at this point in time, 
I still don't know that our old tenant is there. I'm thinking that he went off with his sister and that this friend is going to be coming to pick up his things. Okay. So after I get off the phone, my mom, she's, uh, you know, as we're talking, she's talking low. She's like, hey, he's probably still, he's, he's probably, um, listening, uh, right near the stairs. I'm like, who, who would be listening? I'm like, don't tell me he's still here. And that's, I can't, I, I, I'll be so happy. So happy. Okay. Anyway, um, let's see who is Summoner 101. I can't read your name. I'm sorry, though. Uh, so let's keep going. Um, but anyway, so for you guys that didn't see the uh, live stream, what happened during the live stream, I got a call from my um, hospital. Um, and I had a, an appointment for Monday, just a, a nurse's visit, check my blood pressure, make sure that uh, the medicine that they have me on is working. So they want to make sure that my blood pressure is uh, doing okay. So I just need to come in, get that done. And they also want to uh, check my A1C and all of that. They, they checked it um, with the finger prick, but I think they want to do more uh, blood work. So uh, Monday was the day I was going to be uh, doing that. Really, I can come in anytime on Monday. So she was calling for, you know, to find out if I need to cancel it, reschedule it. And we ended up rescheduling it. But in the middle of that call, I got another call. And that call was someone interested in renting one of our rooms. We have two rooms total to rent. And we're getting him out of the one. And we have one that's been vacant uh, for a while now, for months. Uh, so uh, this guy is going to be coming over Monday. Uh, another reason... You know, I can't do that on Monday. Um, he'll be coming over Monday uh, to take a look. So that's great. That's a, a very good prospect because while we don't have anyone in the rooms, we're going down. My mom has had to dip into her savings in order to make this up. That's, uh, you know, I, I told you guys, that's how we make it. Even having one person paying in the room is adequate for us to make the mortgage and all of that, you know, but we haven't had anyone paying in both the rooms for a while. Let's look at uh, Drax here. Uh, whoop, we got Agent Lemon. <clears throat> Let's see if we have another uh, lemon so we can make some lemonade. Angry Elephant, I see you. I know you're not angry now. Uh, Rothka. And there's Hambone. All right. Um, so anyway, that's the situation. And so now the call brings on a whole new understanding. He's not just coming to pick up his things. He's coming to pick him up and his things. So it looks like he's going to stay another night. So during the, the live stream, remember I told you he was telling uh, my mom, um, oh, well, you know, he's going, he's going to have to um, be at bus stops and things like that. He's going to end up at bus stops. I thought he said all of that last night when he left. No, he's saying that now because he's still here. So anyway, um, you know, she says he's not mad, just, you know, disappointed and all of that. Um, disappointed in himself, of course. Um, I tell you, it, it's something. I'm hoping that our next ones, and I will say this, uh, no one else is going to be allowed to stay here for months like that uh, without paying. You know, um, one of the things that we should have done with him is right off, like the first time we should have um, evicted him. But we were trying to be nice, like I said, in, in his condition I wanted to help I have a heart for people that you know are on paper so I wanted to help and I didn't want to just put him out because uh, it's hard to find someplace you know and uh, it's hard to find work as well and he's an older guy and he has been working in factories all his life 
And he now is not really going to be able to do that. His back is no longer um, sound, shall we say. And so the work that he's done all his life is not able to do anymore. And then I told you guys he got fired because he wouldn't show up. Now, I don't know why he wouldn't show up, but, you know, we, we can't we can't take care of him. You know, that's the bottom line. We just can't take care of him. We're not in a position to do that. He cannot be our charity case because we can't afford it, you know, but we feel bad. We do feel bad for him and we hope him, you know, we wish him the best. We pray for him. We, you know, we've tried to help him. We tried to do things like uh, finding him places that he can go. He doesn't seem to want to go to some of the shelters or anything, but that's his decision, you know, um, but we gave him options. Anyway, 101 Summoner. Ooh, I can't read that. Sirkan. Uh, oh, there's Fat Skidushi. Sorry to see it, but the good news, you will never be on the leaderboards and miss the six-star champion again until seven stars come to the uh, arenas. Um, yep, Matthew, I saw you. I saw Evil Knievel up there. Mm, right, virus Corona. I wonder how many are going to be named Corona. I wonder. Um, but anyway, you got a little bit of my um, life, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm hoping things uh, still end and resolve nicely, so he can come in the morning. Culty, you are double dipping, okay. And uh, so hopefully tomorrow it will be done. Uh, Grimlock, I see you also double dipping. I'm I'm not surprised. This was a a low scoring arena, I'm sure. Um but anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Um I just cleaned up and I need to um I put uh some soap in the sink so I need to wash it off and everything, make sure that's looking good. Uh my turn to clean. Anyway, take care and you all have a blessed day.